Oh my god. I want you to talk to me. Oh shit. What is up everyone? Thank you for watching Franco TV. So I've made it deep out into the mountains where there is a very well-known haunted house where spirits tend to come from the house and roam through the road. And the reason why that is is because a girl that is supposed to have lived in this house murdered her entire family. I'm gonna go over the story while I'm exploring the location, but as of right now, let's get into the video. I know it looks a little bit dark. I'm gonna to switch to night vision now so you guys can see a little bit better. I do have some night vision shots around the house at night. But uh, look at this, over here in the road is where there'll be many car accidents where people will swerve out of the way to avoid the spirits that would supposedly be coming from this very house. Let me go ahead and switch into night vision so it's not too hard to see. But this is the house here. And right up there in the second floor somewhere is where a girl murdered one of her sisters and one of the family members, but the rest of the family has been discarded of throughout the house. It's more or less girl who killed her family. There's better pictures of her. This is just kind of giving a rough story in Spanish about how she did it. Y esa tapa lo abrieron para ver qué cosa había, por qué iba a una tapa. Sí. Una escalera hecha de pura piedra. Y ya fue poseído por el demonio. El 31 de octubre en 1925, ella fue encantada en esta casa. That's something I want to try different here is uh, asking for permission and if it's okay if I can start doing anything. This looks like an altar or something. Over here on this side, but I think it's just where, like a bartending thing? I don't even know. And I'm already sweating as it is. I'm probably gonna put this hat away so that way I don't sweat through it and mess it up. One of the main spirits that haunt this place is named Violeta, which in English would mean Violet. Um, I'm gonna be asking Violet tonight if if it's okay, so. Violeta, Violeta, está bien que yo soy aquí en el casa tuyo. I'm freaking out here because it's like really dark over here. Let's see what you guys can see. Right in here. Violeta, is it okay that I could be in here? Violeta. Oh my God. So I just heard a noise as well. And I know that I just asked if it's okay that I could be in here. And if it wasn't okay, can you make a noise? Violeta, yo voy a hacer un video aquí. Yo quiero ver si alguien estás aquí en esta casa. Yo sabe que tú estás también. I know that you're in this house. I want to see if there's anything else in this house that would like to talk with me. Is it okay that I could record? ¿Está bien que yo soy aquí? I hear like a very 
very low, mellow bass sound. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I haven't even gone upstairs yet. Upstairs is where her room is at and where the first murder took place right next to her, which was her sister's. Um, the father is still alive, but everyone else in the family is deceased. Violetta? so I could see just a little bit because I don't want to break my ankle. But I heard what sounds like. Is that coming from outside? I did just get some weird sounds being here. One was a bang. The other one was another sound that I heard inside there, and uh, it was kind of like a bassy type of sound. And then what sounded like footsteps on the outside. I'm gonna probably rule the outside sound as a possible animal. Could be something else. I don't know. Uh, I, I mean, I'm looking. I don't see anything, but that kind of freaked me out. Or this could also be a sign from Violeta that she doesn't want me to be here. So this is with color now. This is that creepy room. In a minute, I'm gonna show you guys the drain where the bodies were discovered. And she had like four family members, I believe. All her siblings were murdered and were decapitated and their bodies were thrown inside that hole there. The house is forming a whole bunch of faces and what, basically what he does, the owner of the place, he draws out the faces that he sees. And this is one of the faces here. As you can see, it's a demon. And these are going to be written all through the house. And those are faces that are slowly showing up throughout this place. Right now, I have the EVP. I'm going to go ahead and start asking questions, seeing what responses I get. If there's any spirits that are uncomfortable with me being here, besides Violeta, anyone else, let me know right now. Just come to this device that I have in my hand. Violeta, why did you kill your family? Violeta, por qué tu mataste tu familia? Would sound like Mueria. Why did you kill your family? Violeta, por que tu mataste tu familia? It sounded like you said Joqueria. Or Joqueria. Joqueria, porqueria, or Mueria. Violeta, what is the name of the demon? that possessed you to kill your family. Oh 
shit. I just got a loud bang from in the room. from in this room or upstairs. That's Violetta's room upstairs. There's cockroaches everywhere. In here is where the bodies were found. There's cockroaches all up in there. But if you look in here, there isn't any bodies anymore. There's just uh, coke, coins and stuff. But there was a lot more bodies in here as well that they took out. And what still remains is that. People paying tribute. Now, I was told by the owner not to go down there. So I'm not gonna be going down there. Plus there's ton of cockroaches in there. But the fam her family's bodies were found in here and they were all decapitated, except for the father. But uh, yeah, she decapitated all their heads through the bodies in here. And there's actually a room where her decapitated heads. Listen. I just heard footsteps. There's a room where all the decapitated heads are actually in. I think it's four or five people that passed away. I'm hearing footsteps coming from the second floor. And this is the second floor here. This is her room. None of the murders took place here. See, this is interesting. There's spots on the floor, spots over here. Now there's a story that he told me about two kids came in here and jumped out and they actually broke their necks outside. I'm gonna show you the area, but I'm hearing a lot of well, I was hearing a lot of sounds of, of movement. So, so far, I'm not hearing it anymore. For a minute, I'm questioning whether it happened upstairs or outside, but it definitely happened in here. I felt it, and I even heard it right above my head. There was something up there. Oh, and if you're wondering why there's an it thing, Halloween just passed, so they kind of have like these little gimmicks there, but it's not to scare people, that's just part of the whole Halloween spirit. I'm trying to see if it happens again. I am so hot right now. ¿Tú puedes hacerlo otra vez? Can you do it again? In this room, this is going to get kind of graphic. Probably you don't, can't tell now. But right here in this room, she killed her sister with a knife before she beheaded her. And when she did, the blood sprayed. And all of this is her blood. I know it's kind of gross, but that's the stains of her blood after it sprayed against the wall. This is what I was told. Uh -huh. Apparently it's even onto the ground as well. But they're kind of like white spots. This is what he showed me. And after she killed her sister, the blood trail still continues because she dragged her bodies down the staircase area. 
And as you can see, there's still blood marks right there. Now it's dried up blood, that's why it's black. Also down here, like it's still spraying blood. I don't know if blood was still squirting from her neck or whatever, but it's still blood marks there. And it's a true story because it was all over the news and it's known for throughout the town and that's why this whole place was abandoned. This is terrifying. Just looking how it looks like through the camera is even creepy. Right now I'm in Violet's room, as I'm already showing you guys. I'm gonna be using the ovulus to see what it could come out with, what it could tell me about Violet. I did bring a knife and hopefully this will instigate a little bit to help Violet come out. I want to. I want to. Okay, I'm not even gonna ask. In that case, Violet, does me holding a knife make you feel a certain way about harming me? I heard footsteps up here and I want you to talk to me. I did just hear what sounds like someone screaming outside. It almost sounded like somebody was in pain. I don't know if that was something from the distance or maybe the spirits of when somebody got murdered here. I don't know, but that sounded like a really creepy scream and it kind of got me on edge. Holy shit, I just saw like a shadow right by the door. It just passed right by the door. Like right when I looked, it was just in passing. Violet, was that you? Are you watching me right now? Tu eres velándome? Violeta? I don't feel like I'm alone in this house, to be honest. I'm like on guard and I'm antsy because I feel like something's gonna jump out of me in any corner. It's weird because when I bring you guys, I feel like I'm not going alone. Just as you guys watch, you feel like you're actually with me. I feel like you guys are actually here with me as well. But um, this is what I just seen right over here. Was, from the corner of my eye, there was a, a mass shadowy thing that just kind of went from this room to that room. Yoreta, who was that? I just heard a noise from outside again. Violeta! This is the room that I, where it all took care of. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just nervous. I'm freaking out because I just heard something outside. And when I say I heard something outside, I mean outside yelling in, or at least I think it's outside. Violeta? Alguien? It sounds like it was crying too. Like, ooh. I feel like something's about to happen. Violeta? Quien está aquí conmigo? Who's here with me? Hello? The 
this is the room. I do have to leave an offering here so I don't come off disrespectful. The skulls are in the back. This is one sore. These are real skulls. All right, I'm gonna put it in here. I just heard another footstep. I don't know if you guys picked that up, but I just heard a footstep upstairs. I'm gonna go completely dark. Oh, that just blinded me. The, the weird thing is, is that in this room, it actually feels more peaceful because I feel like the family's together, but it doesn't feel as tense as the rest of the house. But it's a la familia. Al día siguiente, pues, nadie sabía cómo murió la familia, sino que cuando italianos su papá regresa de, Ita de Lima, ya toda la familia estaba muerta, pero en el túnel, ¿la? solamente las habitaciones que dormían estaban llenas de sangre. They pretty much put their offerings here to make sure that they have their blessings and stuff, and pretty much to which wish good fortune. No van consumiendo, mira. Mayormente los sacerdotes llenan su vasito de agua, no, mira. Ahora mira, hoy está en la mitad, ya va consumiendo. So, y allá también va consumiendo, va terminando. Al último, ya no tiene agüita, mira. So if you look ya. at the cups here, claro. those little Agar, cups, they claro, leave water there. And they drink it. Every day they come by, the water's low and low and low. And they're drinking the water. I'm starting to hear moaning. I get on the outside or someone. And the dog started barking from way back where. Ah, uh, like way back from here. No spikes yet. I wonder if the other lady's looking for me. The one that killed the family. These are the skulls of the families and the offerings that people give. And yes, those are real people. Yeah, that is very real. You can even see some of the cartilage that has been so, like, dried since it's been decaying. That one looks like it has something on its cheek there. Right on the cheekbone. Oh, that's so crazy. Look at the cracks on the head. I am now in the last room in this house with the skulls. Basically what I'm gonna do is start an ovular session, but I'm gonna be in the pitch darkness. I'm gonna have all the lights off. I'm gonna be alone with the skulls behind me asking questions. I don't know what could happen. Um, the sounds of the footsteps upstairs or what I've heard have kind of stopped. I haven't heard it since then. Uh, don't go there. Go where? I, I have the roof. The roof. <laughs> she just answered me. Don't go there, the roof. Um, I don't think I don't think the owner would let me go to the roof. Anyway, that being said, let me turn off all the lights and wish me luck. Is there something you can talk to me about? I want to know what you feel. I want to know what you're thinking. What what do you feel about what happened to you here? Jose? Sarah? They said she lost her mind and that her sister, their sisters, or their sister um, lost her mind or she was possessed by demons and she just went rapid killing everyone in the house. She was a normal girl and this just happened out of nowhere pretty much. 
I'm sorry that they have your 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 heads mounted up on the in a house when it should be in your Never. Karma. Cover karma. So I take it that you're upset? Tu eres enojado con tu amana? Cover. Cover karma. Do you mean cover like the heads? Tu quieres que ellos se tapan tu cabeza aquí? You want them to cover your heads? So nobody sees you? Pretty much like a proper burial ground, I would think. Hello? This house is scary. I have to go now. Can you can you say something before I leave? Can you say goodbye or anything? Cool, I, I didn't hear it. It says fool. Fool. Who's the fool? Quien es la fool? I don't know how to say fool in Spanish. Uh, pendejo, pretty much. Quien era la pendejo? Sounds like my nickname that I got from a tribe. Your name is Pendejo. I'm like, oh, cool. I like that name. Okay. Thank you for talking with me tonight. I, I got to get going because it's getting late and I have a long drive home. I'm about five hours away from the house. But this place is insane. I highly suggest you guys should probably check this place out. Um, it's called Casa en Brujala, pretty much. Or in, in Canas. So it's pretty much the same thing. Casa and Brujala. Anyway, let me get out of here and finish this video. Gracias por hablando conmigo, me voy. Adios, goodbye. I'm leaving. Thank you guys for watching Franco TV. I hope you guys enjoyed what you've seen. This was the Casa and Brujada. The spirits of this location haunt the road, this whole land area. And I think there's also background stories to this land amongst the house. It's just one of the many things that's happened out here. I am making my way to my next location, which it's in God knows where. Till then, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.